Uh, about a 40-yard bunker shot right here, and uh, let's just get this game started, huh? Let's do it. All right, this is my least favorite golf shot. Well, why is this your least favorite that golf shot? That dreaded second bunker shot. If you if you leave it in the bunker, you have to do it again. Well, but if you hit it long, too, that's another thing. A little skull off the front yeah. edge. You know, this is it's a very hard golf shot, but fear is not a factor here at the Swing Clinic. We're going to take care of all that right okay, now, take okay? Take fears. <laughs> Put a golf fit. ball down right now. Let's learn how to hit this shot so I can start beating both of you at this game right now, all right? Okay. Sounds all right. good. At least set up to it. Right. So first and foremost is the golf club that you choose. It's very important, Lauren, when you choose a golf club that you don't, you know, we don't have a lob wedge in our hands right now, okay? If you have a lob wedge in your hands, you're going to hit it, you're going to try to hit it really hard and you're going to move all over the place and you're never going to get it there. So what club do you use, Lauren, when you're hitting it? That's shot? the one thing I don't know. I, I have a gap wedge and a same wedge. Okay. How about yourself? I have a gap wedge. Right so now. I think both of them are in that right range where it's probably more of a gap wedge or maybe even a pitching wedge, depending on how, how, how far the shot is. Unfortunately here, we don't have a lot of green to work with. So our best shot is probably more like a gap wedge because we have to carry it a little bit further. Mm -hmm. So you can make a bad decision, grab your lob wedge or a high lofted sand wedge, you're in trouble right out of the hey, gate. Hey, what's wrong with lobs? Lobs are nothing's wrong with lobs. <laughs> nothing's wrong with at least lob, lob, wedge. lob wedge. So go ahead and set up to it. Okay. So first and foremost, ball position is very, very important here. When Elise sets up to this golf ball, you cannot have this golf ball way back in your stance. And that's what I see a lot of you guys do is you have it way back in your stance and your hands are forward like this. If you get it back here and you get your hands forward, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get very steep in your attack you're going to hit behind it. You're either going to hit the golf ball first, which is what you talked about, or you're going to hit too far behind the golf ball. Did, Lauren like what Lauren <laughs> talked about. And all those fears are going to come back very quickly. So we want to get very shallow in our attack here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to move the golf ball up just a little bit up in your stance. Okay. And for Elise, she's a little bit taller too. I'm actually going to have her move away from it a little bit. So let's move away from it. The reason we want to move away from it is because, again, we don't want to be as steep with this shot. We want to be a little more shallow so swinging with more, this like shot, a, a little more round you with this shot. And is she going to take less sand than a normal bunker Absolutely. shot? Absolutely. That's okay. exactly right. So that's the key here is that, you know, on a, on a short bunker shot, you can get a little deep and mm -hmm. you can dig a little bit and get down into the ground. But with this shot, if you take too much sand, you're never going to get it there. And that's we right. don't want to try to hit the golf ball first. I see everybody out there and they're like, I'll just pick it. I'll just hit the golf ball first. You have no chance of hitting this shot here. This is definitely a blast shot. So again, let's move the ball position up a little bit. Okay. Let's get you a little bit further away from it. Further okay. Away. We can still open that face up a little bit because we want to use the bounce. Mm -hmm. So if we're going to take sand, typically we would take about this much sand underneath the ball. We're going to take a little bit less this way, but getting further away from it and being a little more around you is going to take care of that for you. You're not going to get as steep. Now, on a regular bunker shot, you're going to hit about an inch to an inch and a half behind the ball. Is that the same with it's this? It's going to be about the same because we're, we're going to be more shallow. Again, the angle of attack is going to be more shallow here. It's not going to be as deep, so it's going to help us. Okay. Biggest key, though, with this shot. Listen, both you guys, right, open your ears. Let's Biggest it. key. It's a game. Tempo, tempo, tempo. You cannot try to jump at this golf shot and hit it hard. It has to be very smooth. So get a little song in your mind. Get happy before you're hitting this shot. Happy in the no song. more fears. Okay. Ball position forward, a little bit further away from it, so we're not going to get as much up and down. We're going to feel it go a little around us, and we're going to get a little tempo. All so right? a shot like this, how far do you think I should take it back? That's a great Setting question. Right and with this shot right here, it's probably going to be a little further than your typical shot. But again, that's exactly what you both want to think about. You want to think about not short and attack. Just get a nice, tempo. long, smooth Just swing, tempo. and you're going to get a little more shallow because we're further away from it. We're taking it around us a little more. No more fears. No more fears. Life is good. The only fear, fear is that we're having a game. And I'm going to win this game right now, so let's okay. go ahead and get it started. You ready? <laughs> let's All right, let's show them how to do it. I just told you how to do it. Show them how to do it. All right. Letter for you, letter for you, that would be a P. Whatever, it's your home course. 